All right, so wanted to discuss if the four new CBIs are dead in the water. There have been announcements by four countries talking about introducing their CBI programs. There have been several updates since um, these announcements, rapid or quick developments on all of these different programs. And some of these have uh, hit a dead end, uh, at least as of now. And I wanted to discuss uh, if a couple of these options are already dead in the water. So let's say you are interested in, you were waiting for citizenship programs to come out since a long time. You were trying to avoid some of the Caribbean options or you just didn't find the Turkish uh, option appealing anymore and you were desperately waiting for something fresh, something new to come up. So then you had these four announcements by four countries but now what's the situation? What are the latest updates as of this time? And what is that one or two programs that you're realistically looking at at some point in the near future? So you just don't want to keep hoping and waiting. You wanna be realistic as to what really is likely to come out versus something that has hit a roadblock. So the four, uh, before we jump into this topic, my name is Jay Shoresh, and here we discuss investments that lead to residencies and citizenships. So if you wanna get started with your option of choice, click that link in the description. We can discuss what you're looking for and help you get started. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you're always up to date on any changes that are impacting these programs. All right, let's get started. So there were four uh, countries that came out of with uh, their CBI programs. Uh, CAR was the first one, the Central African Republic this year. Uh, they introduced uh, one of the options was 60K uh, citizenship option, quite attractive to some people. And 60K wasn't really a donation. It was investing in cryptocurrency, the Sango coin, and uh, you could qualify for citizenship after uh, investing 60K for a certain time. I made a separate video on this option. You can take a look at that. So basically they, they were all set to start this uh, earlier this year. And um, unfortunately there were legal hurdles, which again impacted or delayed implementing the citizenship option. They did have a contest where if you invested or rather you parked $100 in that contest, you could win a citizenship, but that again got impacted. The contest ended midweek this week. They're trying to get that prize money back on track, which is citizenship, e-residency, land, and one of the option, uh, maybe winning more of the Sango coin. So they're trying to get that still honored. And by the end of this month, which is October, the results of that contest would be out. So it's be, it'll be interesting to see if uh, they would actually honor uh, the prize money that they uh, mentioned as part of the contest. So CAR at this time, uh, again, with those legal hurdles, unless that really gets sorted out, uh, you're looking at a, at a you know, bleak uh, perspective for at least the near term future. So I wouldn't heavily count on that program if un unless there is more clarity that rapidly comes out from their side. So I would keep CAR aside for the moment. The second one was uh, Suriname or second and third ones were Suriname and Albania. Again, without a whole lot of detail, just the fact that they want to start a CBI program, that isn't really sufficient information. There needs to be framework uh, details as well as implementation details. The other issue with uh, Suriname and Albania is that the opposition is uh, giving a heavy backlash on this option. So that's one hurdle that they need to cross. And then after that, uh, just the talks aside or the intentions aside, there really needs to be uh, some movement in terms of the details that they share. So Albania has known in the past to have uh, talked about this last couple of years or more. They've always made it clear that they want to launch a citizenship by investment, but this is something that has just not happened. And even this time with this push, uh, the amount of information is just too little to um, at this time to take this seriously uh, in terms of an actual program being implemented. So once we have more information, yes, maybe we can look at it more seriously. But at this time, uh, Suriname and Albania, again, um, won't say dead in the water, 
but it's just an option I wouldn't really count upon if I was looking for something sooner. Now this leaves us with the fourth uh, announcement which just recently came up, the Armenian CBI. Now this one is a little more special. A lot of people uh, would be interested in this one for several reasons. Now um, there were some rumor talks about this actually immediately starting, but uh, some more details have trickled down and we're looking at early next year for uh, this being um, considered for approval. Once this is approved, you're looking at at least a couple of months for it to be implemented or more. So it looks like end of first quarter next year, we can even expect anything. Now, we don't yet know the processing times, but typically they come up with six months or slightly more. So let's say six to eight months, if we even guesstimate that number, we are looking at a good year, uh, more than a year, year and a half, probably even more time from, uh, from now on. So if you're waiting to start or if you have been eagerly waiting that you would now or sometime soon start your uh, CBI program, then this, in my opinion, this just may not be quick enough uh, to hit those targets. So if you're willing to wait for a year and a half or two years, then yes, you know, you can wait and then see what happens with this one. Uh, but if you are in a hurry to start your second citizenship, then the ones that are already established, which is the Caribbean, Turkey, or Montenegro, those are the only options uh, that are immediately available to get started. The other good option with uh, you know, the Caribbean um, uh, choices is that you have access. So even if you are donating money, uh, you know that you have a strong access. So that's one thing to feel good about uh, you know, uh, about that option, uh, in my opinion. Now, if you want to get started with any of your residencies or citizenships of choice, we can discuss your circumstances and get you started with the option of your choice. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then the first thing, go ahead and subscribe. So you're always notified of all the latest and greatest updates. So make sure to hit that bell notification so you get instant notification. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and see you in the next one.